Now, they're a group of volunteers with a dream of creating a heritage railway in the East Yorkshire countryside. But COVID has meant that the Yorkshire Wolds Railway has been closed since September 2019. But they spent the time extending their track and building a new platform. With 10 days to go before they reopened, Joe Makel went to see them. Building your own railway would, for most people, involve a tabletop in a spare room. But these enthusiasts have been working on something a little bigger. Over the last decade, they've transformed a muddy field into a working railway on part of what was the Driffield to Moulton line. Their dream is a mile of track and passengers on board. And all these volunteers are happy to work hard to get it. It's more than a railway because you've got, you're making new friends and having a good comradeship here as well. It's nothing specifically about the railway. It's just the fact that I'm outside, I'm doing something practical and every week you feel that you've achieved something. Following in my dad's footsteps, you see, and he drove... Uh, very high speed trains on the, the East Coast Main Line. The site at Fimber was part of the Moulton Dodger service. The line opened in 1853, but only lasted a hundred years. The farm track below me follows the original train line and you really get that sense of the sweep through the walls. And there's a chalk quarry next to me, which is also really important to the line's history. This one and the one at Warham provided its main freight. This 1933 footage shows the line at Warham, each bucket tipping in three tonnes of chalk. There's no prospect of trains running the whole line again, but a COVID-enforced 18-month shutdown has enabled them to do a lot of work. We built the platform that we're standing on, we more than tripled the length of the track, We've done lots of restoration. We're working on our brake van, which we're hoping to bring into traffic towards the back end of the year so we can give brake van rides along with the cab rides. So, you know, again, all, all thanks to the members, which we are incredibly uh, grateful for. They reopened to the public on May the 30th and they hope with their support, they'll one day make their mile-long dream come true. Joe Makel, BBC Look North, Fimber.